Welcome to another episode of Author Fan Face Off. We've got one great author, one big fan. We picked a book by that author, and we're going to find out who knows more. I'm Steve Shankin, Woo! and my co host is the leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. Wow. Hi. <laughs> awesome. And our author guest today, Roland Smith. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're going to do this really cool thriller beneath. I should say this, Steve, because I'm a big fan of Bomb, and I just read it again because I got a contract to write a nonfiction book. Yeah, I thought, man, Good. I need to. I've written ten nonfiction books early in my career, and I thought I need to read that again. Narrative nonfiction: The Bomb is the Bomb. Mm. It's a really, really great book. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. That's really nice to hear. All right. Well, it's about to get a lot tougher in here. Uh -oh. Because you're going to meet your challenger today. He's not going to be as nice to you as I am. <laughs> um, I have known our challenger for a long time. He is a fifth grade student of mine that I actually had today. So this is Will. He's from upstate New York. Um, but the cool thing about Will is that Will reached out to Roland on his own without even telling me and said, you know, my librarian does this show. Would you like to be on this show? I would be very afraid, Roland, if I was I, you. I, I am shivering in my timbers. Uh, you know, Will, thanks for inviting me. The, the odd thing is Beneath, I've written like 30 novels. Beneath, and I'm not kidding, just because you picked it, is my favorite book I've ever written. So you have really good uh, taste. Yeah. You're, you're a literary genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Pat suffers from this condition or fear. Claustrophobia. Okay. That was an so, easy one. So do I, by the way. <laughs> so you would not do well going beneath that, <laughs> Roland. I could write about it, but I wouldn't do it. And you and you wrote about it quite well. Mm -hmm. Um what did Coop do? This is for you, Roland. When he was 14, that got him in trouble with the FBI. He dug a tunnel through his neighborhood and it collapsed. Well, actually, it blew up. <laughs> Very good. All right. Sometimes you can tell right away when you're dealing with a couple of experts. <laughs> right. So um, the questions will get harder gradually as we go along. All right. Well, Pat was supposed to spend his vacation with his mother. You know that. But instead, he goes to search for his brother in this city. New York. Yeah. And just for fun, do you know where he was supposed to go? He was supposed to go to Florida. Yep. Yep. All right, Roland. What was Coop's favorite Christmas present ever? The best thing he ever got? A pair of... Tap shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I love tap dancing. Oh, you do? Can I tap dance? No. Okay. Um, I mean, again, we don't like to give away the book, but um, this is, this, Coop goes missing and we're, uh, and his brother Pat is trying to find him in New York. So while searching in a dumpster with Posty, who is um, this guy that he, he meets up with on Christmas Eve, Pat finds this large food item. Will. Um, uh, ham. I believe. I know it was all look at. <laughs> I know it was an 18 pound of meat. I don't remember if it was turkey or ham. Uh, Roland, you want to help him out or? It's, it's turkey. I don't know. The 18 pounds is so specific. That's funny that you remember yeah, that. I mean, you, you didn't remember what it was, but you, I wouldn't have remembered if you'd asked me if it was how much of it weigh, I'd go. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Might, might be a half point there. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, ask, we'll have to ask the scoring judges afterwards. <laughs> um, so, Roland. And this posty guy is a member of this secretive group. Well, he's a member of the community, I believe, is what yes. I call it, I think. 
And I was telling Steve before you got on, I was a big X-Files fan. And this book really has that kind of X-Files feel yeah. to it that I really enjoyed. It does kind of. I like X-Files, too. All right. Well, all right. So, again, we're not giving too much of a spoiler to say from this point on, most of the action is going to take place underneath New York City in this very cool underground world. Well, what is Kate's position in the deep? What? She is a shadow. A shadow, yeah. Very good. And Roland, what does LOD, LOD, what does that stand for? <laughs> that stands for Lawrence Oliver Dane. Yes. Is that right? <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Will. Or, or what else could it stand for, Will? Lord of the Deep. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wow. You I, knew I forgot all about that, Will. That is uh, that's how it's introduced first. Yeah. And then we yeah. Very good. Wow. Very impressive. All right. Well, the pod. So you have the community and you have the pod earns money by selling these above. Mushrooms and our business is clouds. <laughs> oh. All right. Now this this detail, I think, you know, the parents are very interesting, Roland. I mean, I guess as a parent, I really thought they were interesting characters. Um, so for the most of the story, Pat's dad again, it's all during this Christmas break, is off in the rainforest of Belize looking for this bird. He's looking for a <laughs> mot -mot. I can't remember the whole name of that bird. I'm a biologist. Let's see, it's like a something build mot, mot Is that right? Oh, you know the whole thing, don't you, Will? Go ahead. <laughs> Um, I don't know the last word, but I know it's a keel build, like K-E-E-L build, and I don't know the last word. Is it a mod mod? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You got so it you together, got, yeah. yeah. You, got, you got two parts of that, I only got one. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Wow, well, that's impressive. Except the only problem is this is one of those examples. I always keep score on here. And when I edited it, I put this beautiful scoreboard on, and now I have no idea who's winning. <laughs> There's been half points here. You guys have helped each other a little bit. So we're just gonna go throw in a bonus question. Whoa. And uh, I love questions about books. And in this, in this book, as in many middle grade books, I think authors will throw in books that they love and, and that their characters love. And in this story, Pat tells us that, he says Coop has two favorite books, and it's a tie. What are his two favorite books? Well, if you could answer, <laughs> give me one of them, Will. Dracula. Yep, that's one. I know the other one too. Journey to the center of the earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, I tied you, Will. That was one of my all-time favorites too. Um, wow. All right, so I still don't know who's winning. I think we should just pick one from this list and do a, uh, and do a buzzer. I'll yeah. ask it. So you guys, all right, put your hands like this. Pretend there's a buzzer right, right beneath you, and you can buzz in when you <laughs> when you think you know the answer. What important celestial event happened on the night he was born? I saw well first. Um, it was a lunar eclipse on Christmas Eve. That's for the win, I think. What are you rolling to accept that? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's exactly what it was. I mean, super fan. We, you know, we, we're no doubt here. Not just a super fan. You could have written this book, Will. Uh, I think maybe he did. I think maybe so. Thanks. It came out in 2015, Will. I'm guessing you were about five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you probably didn't. But I don't know. You seem pretty smart. <laughs>